Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Co. Artistry. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you to my subscribers. And for those of you have, that have been kind of following our, our saga along, um, we went in to the doctor today to set up the radiation appointments and um, now they want to do some more tests. So we're a little disappointed that we're not moving forward and getting like anything done. It's just test after test. So it's a little frustrating for him. And um, we just hope that you uh, continue to th think about us and uh, keep us in your prayers. So uh, before I start tonight's painting, I wanted to show you the final version that I had told you I would of the um, pink and blue um, Dutch pour that we had done. And this one was on a, uh, what was it, a 16? No, an 18 by 24 canvas, so it's rather large. And we had done the, the cup pour in pink blues and then some white and I think silver and um, then added the galaxy part onto it and I believe I showed you the dry results of this. Well here is the dry results after the gloss coating. So here is our galaxy painting in pinks, purples, and blues and whites. Very, very shiny. And that one came out so nice. And then, before we start, I wanted to show you, this is the uh, 20, by, 20 by 20 green cup and black cup pour that we had done. And this is the, the Galaxy painting before we get the um, gloss coatings on it. So that's this one. I was going to do a little more touches on it, but my son had said it reminded, well both my sons had said it reminded them of something, I don't remember what it's called, I think it's like a, um, I don't know, honestly I don't know what it is, like a, some kind of Asian cartoon thing, like anime or something, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but, so there it is for right now, and I will show it to you when I have put the um, high gloss coatings on it as well. Alright, so tonight's canvas again. This is a, going to be a 20 by 20 square again. It's a white canvas and we are going to do a white background. And my colors for tonight are very simple. It's black, gold, and copper. So let me grab the camera, bring you down, and then we'll get started. So I'll be right back. So here's our 20 by 20 canvas. Um, it is a square. And we are going to do a white background, like I said, and then we're going to do our um, our Dutch pour in uh, black. And this is my um, flow acrylic black by Artist Loft. And this one is mixed in an Artist Loft bottle. This white is my Blick acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water in an old Artist Loft bottle. I have my Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic 24 Karat Gold for the shimmer and I have my Liquitex Basics copper and I hope I have enough because I thought I had more of this. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should have enough. I'm just going a couple of sprigs. All right, let's put our let's put our white on. And then we'll get started. Dust in there. Okay. I'm gonna smooth this out with my spatula and then if I need to I will blow it out the rest of the way. Just to make sure everything's getting covered nicely. And I did level this, but, um, and I have this side up on a popsicle stick because it was unlevel. So we're going to keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't then correct itself with the paint on it and go the other direction. All right, I'm gonna use the 
hair dryer to blow this out and then I'll know if I need more paint. So we are going to use the Revlon today. Whoop. I'm going to use the Revlon to blow this out and to blow out our Dutch pour tonight. So here we go. Okay, I had to I had to pause the camera because um, when I was blowing this out, I ended up shooting paint all over everything over there. So my apologies, but I had to clean up all my paint bottles and everything else that I made a mess on. All right, so I have the um, white flood color on, and now I'm going to torch the bubbles because I do see a bunch. And I let them sit for a little bit while I cleaned up the rest, so now they're popping up. Okay, so the ones that aren't popping, I'm going to assume they're little lumps and or dust particles, and we're going to take those out. There's a lot. Oh, that was a lot. I don't want to end up with um, little pinholes when I go to uh, put the glaze on this. So I want to make sure that I take care of any of the big lumps that may cause an issue later. Some of these don't feel like lumps, but at the same time, they're not popping like bubbles. I need to take care of them now, and then I'll torch again. It could just be dust because I was moving stuff around. Okay, here we go. So again, simple colors. Um, I'm my plan or my thought is black, gold, and copper. And then if I think I need it, I may put in some um, silver. The problem is when you put in silver, it turns the black more um, uh, gray, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna stick with the black, I think, as, as best I can. And I have to use it on my big bottle because I honestly don't know what happened to my little bottle of black. So we're gonna just pour it out of this bottle. And I'm gonna do traditional Dutch pour up here, and then I'm gonna make one small sprig this way. So here we go. I'm trying not to overdo the black. I want, it to, I want it to have a lot of white space as well. All right, here's the copper. I do want the copper and the gold to really be our accents. Okay, copper and the 24 karat gold. That will give us some shimmer and some shine. Here we go. So 
three simple colors, but the last time I did this, they made such a gorgeous painting. All right, let's torch the colors. Torching the colors again gets out the bubbles, and because these are metallics, it can also encourage the some of the cells to come through. And we don't want a lot of cells, but we do want some to come up. All right, now we're gonna blow it out. Okay, we've got the gold and the copper right here did not really flow nicely as you can see so I've got sort of a, a warped thing going on here so I want to kind of tuck this in and fix that. The colors up here are nice. This kind of went gray on me. See that was the white and the gray. Um, but I like it because the cells that are popping through are really cool especially up here and if this continues when this dries it'll be really um, a lot of cells and, and really interesting. So I do want to fix this little section here. There's not much to fix. It's just, um, so I went this way and then when I went this way it just sort of shot and I didn't want it to. So I'm going to tuck this in I guess I'd say. And to do that I'm going to use this foam brush and the first thing I'm going to do is encourage, let's see, so we wanted this down. We want this to go back up. So we need to get this up and out of the way. I may have to add a little more color in here. Okay. Like so. And then I want to bring this back to about there. And I'm using the foam brush because I can not only push it, but I can absorb it into the brush and take it off the painting quicker, so it tucks it back in quicker. I don't like this. So we're going to take that off as well, like so. Okay, so then if I get a little bit more of the color right in here, I think that will be good. should go up here and then this I might have to blow this down out a little bit more but I want I want the color back up here so I can go up a little higher so I'm actually because I'm going to re-blow this little section I'm going to take a lot of this out because I don't want to encourage that gray to continue that's not the color combo I wanted there so we'll just take that out and then add it back in blow it out again. Fix that. Fix that. Like so. Okay, so now we kind of have a little blank slate again here. And this will be white. I'll just bring that back into there. Fill all of this in. back on. 
and we're blowed out again. So now we've corrected that area. We've corrected this part of our composition. And now we're just going to fill in so that we can get like between here and here, the other little branch thing. All right. So I need to be able to blow it from here, so I'm just going to start here. And then the copper was next. Gold on top. And carefully blow it. Okay, I'm going to try blowing this out again. So I like, I like this little thing. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I'm okay with it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this out so that this is kind of one part of the composition and then this will be sort of the second part. So let me see what I can do here. Um, take this out so I can keep this separated. to keep it separated is to add some white in between to push them both directions. See? So now that pushes this down and that up. Now we have this little weird squiggle mess here. So I'm going to get rid of that. So it doesn't really fit with either, of, with either side. So I'm just going to tuck that in. Take this out and bring this back, bring this back a little bit, and then add some white. And that should help keep that separated. Just encourage it to go back where it came from. Here we go. Okay, I like that. Kind of like a cohesive design here. I'm not sure how to fix that. Maybe I'm gonna separate these two. Since they look like they're fighting each other, let's separate them and make them into their own pieces. it makes it look more like I have one design here and then the next design here. Love this section here. These are popping really nice. The corner is beautiful. 
missing a lot of color right here, but it, it gives it a really neat focal point because it's got so much going on. I just wish it had a little bit more of the uh, copper to it. And I see, this is what I was gonna watch, is I see that the composition is starting to slide that way. So I'm going to prop it up on both sides here because I don't want to lose all this. This looks nice too. I have to fix that corner. Of course, I have to fix this one as well. And to do that, I'm just picking up some of the paint that has fallen onto the table and then dabbing it on the corner. And then it will, once it's level again, it will run back down the sides here. I like this. This is really kind of cool. I don't know if I like this little section here though because, there we go, because it looked like a mouth and, and now it looks like face. Well, I still like it better. Okay, we got that going. This is nice. These are really popping. I just wish I had more color here. Um, the white really took over and I'm afraid if I blow this out anymore. Let me look under here. There's some copper under there. Not a lot. I'm afraid if I blow this out again, I'll just end up losing it. I really don't want to do that. So, all right, I'm going to um, let this settle down for a minute, scrape the underneath of my canvas with my popsicle stick, like so, to get off all this extra paint so that our composition doesn't keep running off. I'm not going to scrape this corner yet because I want it to run off and fix that corner. And we're going to scrape this side, which is hard to do because I have all my airbrush stuff in the way. There we go. And then I'll come over there and I'll fix that. And then I'll grab the camera and bring you down. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is our painting for tonight. I do like the fact that I separated these two sections. I think it looks much better. So let me bring you up to show you the whole painting. So this is simply black, gold, and copper on a white background. And like I said, once the um, paint dries, we should see more of the copper come out. And um, of course the gold would be shimmering, but we'll have those black outlines as well that will look really pretty. So let me take you down so I can show you where some of the shimmer already is. So if you look right there, you can see the copper and the gold are just shimmering through the whole painting already. And that's what I was looking for. Here's that section whoop, that I split. It still kind of looks like a like a troll face or something, but I'm gonna leave it. And then you go over to the second section, takes us up into a lot of our gold and beautiful cells up in here. Really interesting. And then I, I love this little section. Reminds me of a maple leaf, I guess. And then over to here. And then this is the section I wasn't sure about, but it's starting to, to bring out some of the copper. And you can see the shadowing underneath here that there's black paint under there. So it may still, when it dries, pop those colors out. So we'll watch that and, and I'll show it to you when it's dry. But here is our painting for this evening. And here is the whole painting. There you go. So thank you for watching my videos. They come out every three days. And um, if you have any questions about the paintings, there's a, a lot of information in the description. And um, my contact information is at the end of every video. So thank you to my subscribers. And I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So if you wanna hit that subscribe button, that would be wonderful. And until my next video, Please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye.